Hey, what's up everybody on the YouTube land? It's me, Elric Ferris, here once again on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys a pretty cool video. What is that video? This is a video of playing Battlefield 3 on an entire AMD-based Scorpius system. For those of you who are in the know, you know what this is. For those of you who don't, a Scorpius system is basically using an AMD completely based platform system. Motherboard, CPU, video card, all AMD. That said, I've built one. I'm using the ECS. This is their new 990 FXA motherboard. I'm using the FX8150 AMD processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory from Kingston, and I'm also using a Sapphire HD6970 video card inside the build. All in all, pretty cool stuff. Starting off, you guys have saw the UGK video that I did over motherboards.org. This is the ultimate gamer's kit. Well, we're going to start off by checking that out. I just did a big gnarly breed and I've got the serious burps and I'm having trouble not burping through the whole video. It's pretty funny. So check it out. This is the Thermal Take white keyboard. This is the black white mouse or the Michael Jackson mouse as some people called it out there. This isn't me, so don't get mad at me. This is other people who said that in the comment section. But we've got these two things. There's also headphones because this is the white combat edition. But here's the case down here. You guys can see that. It's all really cool. Systems all inside and everything. I'll do another video and just show you guys just the system, but today I want to talk to you guys about Battlefield 3. So, that said, let's jump in. I just basically just restarted the entire game for the campaign mode from the beginning of the game because I'm really just trying to show frame rates. I'm not really trying to show gameplay because overall I'm trying to see if a Scorpius platform is actually worth your money to jump into as a gamer. So let's jump in and let's take a look at these two different videos. Okay, everybody, so here we're looking on the thing right now. You guys can see I've changed the screen to 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz, full screens on, vertical sync I've turned off, field of view I've turned all the way up to 90. It doesn't have up to 100 after 90, it jumps back to 60. As far as the graphics quality, though, you see I have everything set on ultra, totally set on ultra. And basically the big question, though, is, is the Scorpio system able to play this game at full blast with good resolutions? So you guys can see we've got it locked over here. Now I'm going to go back into the game and start playing the game. It's okay, here I am, I'm in game. So let's take a look up here in the corner, this is what's important. Getting 35 frames per second. Shoot these fools even through here so I have to deal with them. So I haven't really dropped, I can't really, you know, pay attention totally with what is going on over there and play the game, otherwise you guys would say stuff like, oh you totally suck, so I'm trying my best to do it both. But I personally haven't seen the screens really drop down below. 30 frames per second yet. It's been pretty much pretty much steady above that. Some people claim they can tell a difference in the game. I never have been able to. If you're getting over 30 frames per second, you're usually playing the game pretty good. Now I got this crazy fool right here. Okay, get a little crazy, but you guys can see we're still at like 30 frames per second. Everything looks really nice. Uh-oh. So if you can see everything's looking really nice. We're getting that many frames per second. This guy actually is gonna kick my butt. Alright, still we're like 39 frames per second. So still haven't dropped below that. This is kind of just running around doing bullshit, but we get out here, this is where I'll really count it. As long as the frames be over 30 frames per second, we get out here into the actual battle, then I'll be pretty satisfied. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to say fail, you know, but this is at the ultra, ultra settings. Remember that as well. All right, so here we go. I better take myself some cover before I die, because this is really crazy right now. Try to kill 
me as many spools as I can. I'm seeing under 30 frames per second, but the gameplay still seems pretty solid. Which fucking guy do you want me to take out? There's lots of fucking guys around here. I take that guy out. The guy over there out. Who else? Who do you want dead? You want him dead? Just tell me who you want dead and I kill him, huh? Up, but I'm up. He's fucked up, but he's up. <laughs> That's funny. Friendly's coming in, huh? It did fall below, it kind of did fall below 30 seconds sometimes, but you know what? I'm not going to call it a fail. I'm actually going to call it a win because the game still seemed like it was playable. It did slow down just a little bit. I know guys out there are going to say if it doesn't get 90 frames per second, it's a fail, but it's not. But anyways, me, I'll see you fools later. I'm going to jump back in the game and kill some motherfuckers.